atmosphere of Jupiter. So it's actually rotating, if you like, about an axis that uh, has these bands and lines of constant latitude. And the bands are slightly right. different temperatures, so the, the, the darker ones are slightly warmer, a few degrees uh -huh. warmer than the, the light ones. Well, as we said, that is an image coming to all of us from Boyden Observatory in Bloemfontein. Good evening to you in Boyden Observatory. We have a, a feature on your, your um, scientific apparatus, and although, of course, it's, it's in the past somewhat, some of it, there's a deep cultural connection. The observatory was brought to Bloemfontein from Arequipa, Chile in February 1927 and served as the southernmost outpost of Harvard University. Dr. John Stephanos Paraskevopoulos was charged with the construction of the observatory near Marselsport and remained its director until 1952. Harvard relinquished its patronage in the 50s and the observatory was then run by a group of international patrons before being donated to Free State University in 1976. Several of its instruments are old and this 33 centimeter refractor is over 100 years old. Compared to modern standards, our equipment is maybe not that sophisticated, but we can still make very good use of it. The 152 centimeter aperture reflector telescope remains the second largest instrument of its kind in the country. George Mazarakis reporting there. We're live, as if you didn't know from Sutherland. Still waiting for that big one, the big fragment to crash into Jupiter. 